So I'm at the flying field. It's been forever since I've flown. Main reason is because these four wheelers and stuff tear up the run runway. They really hammered it down on this end. You know, this is private property, but they just can't stay off our field. This is really bad down here. This is gonna need a, a lot of work. Some rain will be good so we can get this back in order. I got donuts over here, tracks here. This a little area to take off and land from. It's flyable, but it does have the ruts from the donuts. A lot of people camping. But it is what it is. We need to find another area. Less traffic, less people to stay off our stuff. I brought a couple planes. This apprentice, it's more of a trainer. And I have uh, my Piper Cub and a drone. That uh, doesn't take up much runway as far as the uh, planes go. The drone doesn't need a runway at all. A little chilly. I got my coffee. We got one guy on his way out. There used to be, you know, 10 or more flyers, but everybody stopped flying or moved. Nobody wants to take care of the runway anymore. And quite frankly, I'm tired of trying to keep this flyable. Nobody has respect for our sign. To stay off the runway, people just don't care. I have this uh, anemometer. I got it for my birthday last year, I guess it was. And it's showing uh, around two miles an hour and 59 degrees. Seems cooler than that. Well, I think I'll uh, show you how I put the wing on, hook up everything. This is rather simple. Only has one connection for the other ones. This has what they call safe mode. We're in the, uh, in the uh, receiver. It has uh, like a gyro. So when you're flying, it corrects the airplane surfaces to keep it level. Pretty much can't, can't crash these. And you can't turn the, the gyro off, or the safe mode off. I just match up the uh, colors. I usually put tape around the connection here to just ensure it stays together, but I'm not going to do it this time. And then the bag of rubber bands. Rubber band on each side to start with. I 
Make sure the wing is on centered. And I do another one across. And then another one on each side. This is the second apprentice I have. Both were given to me or traded for them. I said earlier that these don't crash. Well, that's not entirely true. First one I had, the stickers that sat for so long that's when the guy that had it, the stickers came off. Then I was doing a loop, I took it out of the safe mode. The sticker came off, I did a loop, and the elevator came apart. So the thing went straight in. I have two batteries. I have a, these are three cells, um, a 3300 and a 3200 milliamp. That just goes in the bottom. Normally, when you connect your battery, this has an on off switch for the battery. But normally, if these don't have an um, on off switch, have the receiver on, ready to go um, once you plug it in. That three beeps is the how many cells it detected. And this is ready to go. strap so I have a Spectrum DX8 really good transmitter turn this on make sure this could hold a, a 30 airplanes I have about 15 in here um, got the apprentice on uh, on all my electric planes I have a kill switch so when this switch down is down, the propeller won't turn. The switch here turns on the safe mode. Right now it should be on. Turn the plane on, and the gyro, see how it's moving? It's calibrating the control surfaces for a level flight. Level flight. Since it's on level ground, that's what it thinks it makes it level. I'll do a control check. And then oh, up is on. It's been so long since I've flown it. Uh, uh, engine is kill switch is off, no throttle. So when it's down, we got throttle. So, I'll take it down here. I'm gonna turn my timer on, I have a timer. Let's do six minutes on this. Now, let's turn it around. See if I can miss the ruts. And we're airborne.
this is good for uh, people learning to fly but it's nice to have a, a plane that's this slow and easy a lot of my planes are fast and I can't fly here now because of the runway down there I need something like this one doesn't need a whole lot of runway a lot of my planes uh, they take up a lot of run runway to take off and land. And when it's on safe mode, I have to push the stick down for it to come down. really can't do any aerobatics while on safe mode there is a, a button on the transmitter that if it gets out of whack it automatically puts it wings level but it's been months since the flown like I, I said and it's kind of nice to get back out flying again Brought my heater. I think I might turn that thing on. My hands are getting cold. I have gloves, but I don't like to fly with them. You get less of a feel for the stick. Bring it back around. I'll turn safe mode off. Now safe mode should be off. off I threw the wrong switch and now we can do loops and it comes down a lot easier by itself at the whole little back elevator or up elevator into it That beep means I have a minute left of flight time. So we'll come back around and see if we can land this thing. Safe mode's back on.
Uh, six minutes, depends on the battery and the plane. Uh, you can get more flight time depending on the plane and the battery. I have a foamy jet, I only get three minutes of flight time. This will go around six. You don't want to get the batteries too low, it could damage the batteries. And there you have the flight of the Apprentice. Really nice, you know, no thrill airplane, but good for training and good just to put around.